answer. There were some fantastic comics of X-Men in the 90s, but you had to go years back, collect a ton of books, just to get a taste of a bit of it. Today, I decided to note a great starting place for people who've never read X-Men, but know of them. A story that captures the X-Men well, isn't too pricey and easy enough to collect. Astonishing X-Men is the critically acclaimed series of the X-Men comics written by Joss Whedon. You might have heard of the name nowadays because of the Avengers, but he's also the creator of various nerdy great things like Buffy, Angel, Firefly, and much more. He's also a comic writer, and while he's not my favorite, he always gives a pretty good effort no matter what he's writing. Astonishing X-Men has a similar idea to the X-Men 3 movie, but it's done hell of a lot better. Introducing this cure to the mutants, the X-Men try to deal with that, plus a new villain appears. It's a great way of getting you into the fold, it has interesting plot and some really good side plots, as well as an amazing amount of detail into each and every character, giving you what you're hoping for, the full focus on the X-Men team. The great part about this series is that it's pretty self-contained. Talking about just Josh Whedon's run, collecting the whole thing is just in two ultimate collections. You'll get a complete and set story. It starts and ends, and you really dig into the team of the X-Men and get to really know them. So grabbing an Ultimate Collection Part 1 on Amazon or Barnes & Noble and beginning your X-Men days right here is pretty easy and a good place to start. Looking at a $40 to $50 payout really isn't bad at all. This is a great price point for how much you really get. It's a well laid out story introducing you to a lot of the X-Men characters in mostly interesting ways. It's just really easy to also enjoy a storyline that ends and finishes. Plus, it's a great starting point for only $50 bucks and might get you interested in even more X-Men. So that's my suggestion for comics to buy today. If you have any other questions about other comic books and where to start buying them list them below so that way i can tell you if i read them and give you a video i also would love to give more stories for x-men if you like different ones so let me know if you want a different x-men story that way i can pick them out of the bunch that i've read if not i'm gonna put up another video soon for suggested comics to buy and hopefully you will pick them up because i love all the comics i'm listing here or if you rather me make a video of comics not to buy i have a quite a few lists on that one too so that's it, Whitey out, and please come back for more, hit the like button, and enjoy.